Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alice and Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you back to a bit of Alice in Wonderland DS. And yes, you're hearing that right. It's Alice in Wonderland DS, a game that nobody would be LPing in 2014. But uh, here we are in the Tolji Forest, and uh, or Tolji Woods, I guess. And our objective is to find the Mad Hatter in Tolji Ruins. You wait up there, Alice, I swear to God. Okay. Um, <laughs> we need to find the Mad Hatter because he knows where the Red Queen is or what we need to... We need to get the Vorpal Sword to kill the Jabberwocky, but of course we're going to have to meet with the Red Queen in order to do so. So let's go continue onwards, shall we? We attained the help of Absalom, I think... Was it one part ago? I think so. In the last part. Uh, but we have him now. He lets us, you know, do gravity puzzles. And just punch things. Thank you. That would be lovely. And, um, yeah. He's one of the amazing characters we can use. That just fell. It's weird. Alright, well, let's uh, go reverse time back to before it fell. And let's go up here and see what we got. Is this anything? This might actually be a dead end. Uh, we need to head to the right a little bit to get to the uh, diamond door. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's probably... Uh, what is over here, though? No idea. Ow! Stop it! Oh, those things are assholes. As you guys recall, you can't kill them, so... Uh, is this... Ah, uh, this is a puzzle. Okay. No, literally a puzzle. So what we need to do is switch on over to Absalom, use our anti-gravity, and then head over here. Now, remember, you can't activate his powers unless you're on one of these platforms there. And if we try and have Alice follow us, it won't work, so... We're gonna go ahead and make her wait there. And then we're gonna reverse gravity. And she'll collect it! Hooray! And this is actually the puzzle piece we need. Uh, it's Tolji Swamps. Let's see if we can connect it on the Oracular map. God, I love their happy ass jigs! That's the first time we've seen Absalom dance. He's, he's such an ambivalent little creature. Ambivalent <laughs> Absalom. Uh, but we've got him now. So Hatter lives in the swamps. Thought he lived in the ruins. This game is inconsistent as hell. Alright, so we can connect this piece directly to the diamond door in this level, like I was just referring to. But if we do that, the grayed out drawing doesn't match the one on the map piece. Okay, so you'll notice in the background of the map, it's gray. That's how Wonderland's supposed to be. However, uh, you can, like I said, influence it in whatever way you want. So long as, you know, you're not, you can't move the area you're in. That one stays. And also, you can just, like, move things. You just can't move the one you're at. So we'll go put this right there. Even though it does not belong, as you guys can tell underneath, I uh, can't do it there. So touch the twinkling piece. What are you talking about? Why are you telling me... Put it on its correct place on the map here. Like, this, the map is built properly, but... Okay. Okay, we've created a shortcut, even though there's no way you can get to this yet. Uh, told you Glade will get to you a little bit later, but... Uh, no way to get to it now. And there we go. I don't think I've ever actually done that. I never knew that it says, You've made a shortcut, because it'll continually be flashing in the corner. Now what does it want me to do? That flashing is really annoying, I apologize. Uh, whoops, drop my stylus. Okay, so, are we good? Can I just leave? Uh, this game is kind of weird sometimes. There we go. Wait, why are you still flashing? Nothing else on this screen is flashing. Like, do you see any flashing on here? Stop it, game. Thank you. Let's go, let's go. We've spent way too much time doing this. Alice, come with me. All right, so now that we can go north from here, uh, let's go find that door, shall we? Just do a little bit of backtracking. Don't you dare. Ah. I love it when she clears her throat at me. It's not like she's the one lagging behind or anything. All right, so if we keep dropping down over here, it's been kind of a while since I've played this beginning part, so I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of winging it. Um, really? Do you really need me to drop down, down for you? She makes some pretty ridiculous jumps later on, so I don't know why she's complaining now. Here, follow me. Thank you. You can follow me. There's gonna be a fight here. Anytime they have like this like really long stretch of ground, just expect there to be a fight. Or more like an you know something to waste your time with. Okay, we can skip that. Just feel bad about it. Alright, don't be sad, Alice. Ugh. Here, let me murder this guy. Don't run at me yet. There we go. Enemies are pretty good about oh you asshole. Uh, enemies are pretty good about just like waiting for you to finish fighting one of their comrades. Um before trying to attack you. But these guys, like I said, they just continually block you. It's the absolute worst. All right, do we fight one more person? Is that what happens here? Uh, nope, we're good. All right, let's get out of here. We're right next to the door, so let's go. Let's go through the diamond door. But what's over here? Probably, yeah, we can't go through that quite yet. Uh, once we make our return visit, though, you can bet your high dollar heels that we're gonna <laughs> be going over there. <clears throat> So yeah, welcome to October 1st, ladies and gentlemen. Or I guess technically it's October 4th, now that it's, uh, it's like 4 in the morning. 
and it'll work later. Oh, hey, check it out. There is a Mad Hatter switch here. Oh, sweet Jesus. There's an earthquake. Whoa, what's happening? Um, I guess this is what happens when you mess with the oraculum map. Oh, we just fall. We just fall into the foreground. Alright, so there's no way we can climb up to the diamond door, which means we cannot backtrack from this point forward. Alright, but our objective is the heart door anyway. That's good. It's like, gee, I wonder what these hats are going to be there for. Hmm. But uh, let's go and switch on over. Okay, now. Oh, God. <laughs> Look, there, red knight with no armor on. It's been impaled by that sailboat. Or teacup, I guess. No, now this is this is the thing that caught me up because when I first played this, um, if we had some wind, we can make a move. This is one of my least favorite things in this game, just because they so barely touch it. All right, so jump on the cup, and then now blow into the microphone. You actually have to blow into the microphone, which doesn't work all the time. Anything game. This is what I was worried about. Um, it's very wonky, and it does not register uh, as often as I'd like it to. Now, if we could do that with a card, could we do it with a knight with no armor? Okay, so a knight that is naked that you're fighting will die in one hit anyways. You can blow on it, and it'll blow it away. So that's just something you can do if you feel like it. Uh, but we're not going to, since it's just faster just to fight them. And I don't want to have to lift my DS in order to do this every single time. So just, uh, get out of here, you stupid... What are these things anyway? I don't care much for them. All right, so moving forward, let's go over here. There are five treasure chests and one piece of armor we can collect here, but it's going to be a while before we can collect them, so I'm going to be skipping a lot of them for now, and then once we come back <clears throat> with the characters that we deserve, then uh, we'll be able to do that. Oh, this asshole, stop it. I hate those things. They remind me of that game Abyss. It's not very... it's interesting. Um, but it's very strange. All right. <sighs> game? <sighs> okay. I have no idea where I'm supposed to blow. Um, it's inconsistent every single time. What are you talking about? There, thank you. There. Maybe I just need to not blow so hard. Huh, <laughs> such a blow hard. Alright, get up here, Alice. You're required. Okay. Uh, I have no idea when I started my timer. It says eight minutes. So we'll see where we go. I'm going to try not to make these super long, but we'll see. I might just record a bunch of this at once, but I have laundry going. I like to get that out of the way. Right, these assholes trying to attack me from far. Ugh, there. Death. Oh, okay. Ugh, no, why didn't you defend? Oh, don't you dare. Okay, come on. Yeah, these are just literally just minor inconveniences. There's, like, no reason for us to do this. Ugh. And remember, when the double exclamation marks appear, that just means that we can... Just... Yeah, okay, never mind. He didn't want to live, apparently. Uh, that just means we can slow down the people and then attack them that way. So, ah, it's not letting me though. I keep losing all my energy when I'm trying to. Uh, well, this guy gives us an ability. He does. All right, we just earned a new movement ability. Absalom's Extending Bridge. Wow, nice one, nice one. So let's go check that out real fast just to get the blinking out of the way. Uh, we've got Absalom's Movement Ability, which allows us to transverse more land should we so desire, and which means now we're just missing his smash attack right over here. This has to do with the curled antenna. <laughs> this has to do with a clawed animal. This has to do with a hat. I love how these characters are personified. It's like, this thing must be a claw. Whatever. Whoops, did I just go back? Damn it. I hate how they put everything in different places, like the back in the bottom left-hand corner. Now it's in the bottom right-hand corner. It is the worst. Ouch. God damn it. These guys are so annoying. I think my touch screen is going slightly out of whack. Alice, watch this. I can make my jelly body stretch across this gap, making a bridge for you to walk over. Being me is so cool. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? Absalom. This wise, magnificent being. And he's saying, being me is so cool. He didn't even stoop so low in any of the cannon, but can I switch to him? Thank you. So basically, you extend your bridge, and now you can go across these areas, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Stop it. And uh, I think that's actually where we need to go is over here. Let's continue. Are we at, nearly at the heart door? No, we're like halfway there. We're on the right track. More like we're on the left track. Okay, so now we've got ourselves another caterpillar. Get out of here, good sir. And uh, we'll continue onwards. Come on, let's go, let's go. Run. Oh my god, another fight. Alright, well, let's just get this over with because having one not even five minutes ago is not enough. Alright, this guy right here, this asshole. There we go. I don't think there's any consequence to just letting Alice die. 
Oh, fucking Christ. Okay, here, death, please. And then you can also die. Don't you even, okay, here, you get the body slam for trying to steal my woman. Wow, did you see that? I, mm, yeah, I think my touch screen is literally ready to go because I'm not very accurate. All right, Alice, come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We have a Hatta to meet. And we're missing a bunch of stuff down there, but we'll come back to that, I assure you. Now, what's weird is when you roll, you still have to go, like, up to the upper left-hand corner. It's not, like, yeah, it's not relative to where you're facing. All right, it's our objective. Stop thinking, girl, move. God damn. He is very angry. Whoop! Okay, whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to uh, belly flop into that. So we have ourselves another puzzle here. It's not really difficult. You just go ahead and forward time so that, I guess, I think this is supposed to be T until that comes over. And then, now for every single one of these jumps, we need Alice to follow us, which is amazing. It's great. So let's get her over here because this totally isn't a waste of time. And then we have to go reverse time so we can actually reach this next one. And now we're good. See, aren't these puzzles really mind-bending? Don't they really tug at your heartstrings? They're clearly thought-provoking. And uh, here, come on over, Alice. Luckily, we only have to do that once unless we screw up this upper. Actually, we might have to do it more than once. Uh, let's go a little bit farther. Let's go to the next save point because we're actually almost out of the ruins or wherever we are, the swamp. Now, this puzzle here, this is going to take a little bit of time. And uh, we'll do that when we come back since we can't do it right now. Guys, hold on, we still don't have the Tolji Ruins map piece. Guess what we get to do, ladies and gentlemen? Rats, the Tolji piece. It was next to your house, Absalom, in the Mushroom Forest. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Backtracking Central 101. We're gonna go back to where we collected Absalom in order to continue to this very point. Ah, yes, we did travel all this way for nothing, and this is required. You guys will see what I mean in a minute. Plus, we can't get out of the swamp. The diamond door is still out of reach. Oh. Great observation there. Let's take a look at the map and see if we can find a way to the motion four. So using our knowledge of newly acquired shortcuts, we can actually go up to the oracular map and uh, check out where we can go. So we need to go over here, but fortunately for us, it has a diamond piece that lets us go there. Which means now we can go back to the mushroom forest at its core, but from the other side. Because if you guys recall, we came in from the left side, which is the diamond. And uh, now we're going in from the right side, which is whatever that was. Was it the spade? or No, it was the heart. All right, so excellent. So now the heart door is now open, and this puzzle we'll deal with when we come back, since there's no way to make puzzles appear out of thin air, or cards, rather. So let's head to the heart door and save ourselves backtracking, like, what, four puzzle pieces that would have been? Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Why you got to be such a long and convoluted... Nah. Actually, that goes to chapter four. Never mind. So anyway, we are back in the mushroom forest, back to the central core. And hey, check it out. We made a treasure chest up here out of thin air. All right, let's grab you, Alice. So this is the same area where we collected Absalom, except we're, we're not nearly as far away. And there's actually a lot of really annoying puzzles here. So um, I say we end off there. My name is Ellison Cruz. Next time, I'll probably, I just need to go switch out my laundry. And I will see you guys in probably two days from this video. But in like two minutes for me. Hooray! <laughs> oh my god.